Let's make a game using only Unity Store assets. I can't code, but lucky for me, the developers of the Unity Asset Store can code, and they make great assets that I can use to make my game. This game is a series of videos taking you with me as I build my first game. Links for all the assets used in this project are in the description. Being new to everything, I had to do a bit of research to know what assets I will need to make my game. After watching hundreds of other devlogs, I made my list. Main character, character controller, enemy AI, enemy and NPC characters, level design tools, and well-developed story. For the story, I would need a little inspiration. I was hoping to get that from a main character. I wanted to find a customizable character that allowed the player to design their own character's looks. I found Kecko's customizable 3D character cartoon kits. It looked great, with lots of customization as well as a sample in-game and runtime editor scene. This developer spent a lot of time making sure that every player can find the look they want. Next, I had to find the best character controller for my game. I found Platformer Project by Developer Player 2. This controller has every feature I could ever ask for. The Platformer Project is basically Mario 64 controller out of the box, which is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted to make my game easy to play and this controller allows me to do that. But what game is fun if the enemies aren't smart? I needed a kick-ass AI. After reading hundreds of reviews, I decided on the asset Emerald AI. This asset is a one-stop shop for building any type of AI I can think of. Now that my enemies had a brain, I needed to find the right body to put those brains into. I spent a lot of time looking for the right enemies for my game. And finally, I found them. A character modeler named Little Putidoy. Put Putidoy? I don't know how to say that. He creates pro-looking AAA designs. Before I show you the most exciting asset I found, like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Now, I got the basics, but I need to make levels. I needed a way to easily construct platformer levels. I'm not a designer. I found two really amazing tools that allow me to generate levels from splines. The first first one I found is called GM Level Maker, which is exactly what I was looking for. But then, I found 2.5D Terrain, which is a step up from even that. I can now make levels that fit just about any design I can imagine without any modeling at all. I'm really looking forward to what I can build with these Unity assets. See you next week for my next devlog. <laughs>